Oh, hello there. I hope you're sitting on your throne in your castle right now, or what others refer to as the toilet in your house, as you listen to this podcast about the total home experience, where we discuss how to make every home more easy, effortless, and enjoyable to live in. I'm JP Taxman, founder of Relief Key, and will be the voice in your head for the next 10 minutes to an hour. Let's get after it, shall we? Welcome to the total home experience. Your dog or cat pukes on the floor. Great. Now you have to clean it up. Mmm. Dang. How are you going to do it? Well, you're probably going to go and grab some paper towels, some cleaning spray, and you're going to walk over maybe a plastic bag from the grocery store. You're going to go walk over to where he puked. And you're going to kind of pick it up with a paper towel and put it in the bag and then spray it and, you know, use some more paper towels and then spray it some more and use some more paper towels and doing this constant switching off between spraying and wiping. And then you get all in the bag, tie the bag up, and you throw it away. Okay, you know, that's fine. That's how I've done it for years. And then one of my awesome clients... Um, it's an amazing mortgage broker, Ashley Tejan, um, showed me cleaning wipes, which I knew about, but I had never used them. So I started using some cleaning wipes and basically what these companies did, which is a brilliant idea, is they just took the spray bottle and douse the paper towel in it and then you just get both in one it's a lot easier it's a lot quicker it's a lot more simple and so then when your cat or dog now pukes you just walk over to it with a plastic bag and your wipes and you take out a wipe and you pick it up and you throw it in the bag and you pull out another one and you wipe it up and then you're done and it's sanitized and it's clean and you didn't have to like wipe a thousand times with both things and then dry it off because the alcohol just dries away once it's done and you know it's all sanitized. But my issue when I started using cleaning wipes was the experience of using the wipes, mainly the bag that holds it or the container. And, you know... I have some here that are a Lysol brand. And Lysol seems to do it the best. Um, It's the Lysol and the yellow packaging that I found to be so far the best. I still haven't found the most optimal packaging yet. Now, what I do like is with the Lysol is they have, like, the, the lid, the plastic lid on the top of the plastic bag, where it's, like, a hard plastic. So you can close it and it snaps shut. And then you can pull a wipe out. And so with some of them, they do a really good job of pulling it out and then another one pulls out. But when another one pulls out, it sticks to the last one. So then you can, if you keep pulling, you're just going to pull them all out. Like you, you, you can't do it with one hand. And oftentimes that's what you want to be doing. So... That's what frustrates me about that, is I want that experience where I can pull, but I want it to stop, you know? Or, like, when you have, like, the round, the ones in the cylinder tubes, um, you, you, this, it's, and you have the same thing with these, like, the, the square packaging ones, is you can pull it out, and it pulls out great. With the round tube ones, though, it disappears. Like, if you lose it, like, you're, you're not getting another one out. These ones, it's easy to get. With the square packaging ones, you can at least, like, get another one easily. But um, you can't. You have to, like, close the top and then pull, and then that's how you get it out. But it's just pulling the thing, and then you have one sticking out, and then you lose one because you let it dry because it, that leaves it accessible. Now, with the other ones with the yellow packaging, I like those because 
they don't it doesn't pull out so another one's ready like a kleenex so at least you can always close the top and it keeps them closed and it keeps them all moist uh for those of you that love that word um and then you can just go in and you grab one now the issue here is that when you go to grab it you like have to kind of find where the lip is to pull it out and sometimes you pull like two out at a time which isn't a big deal but then they're kind of stuck together and it's not the best and then like when it gets really low in the packaging you have to like move the top to try to find that little line that's not clear now I think an easy way actually to say, to fix that if they would would be to just color coat where the line is uh, on the top of the of the wipe. Then I can at least see exactly where I need to grab. The main thing is I just can't see where that grab is, so I'm like kind of pulling around and I can't really find it, and it's taking me an extra like five seconds to get the wipe when I'm like really trying to just get this thing clean and get it done when I'm using these. So I really love these wipes though. At the end of the day, they're easy, they're fast, they still save me time even though I have to take a little bit longer sometimes to take them out. But I'm still looking for the best packaging, which I will find someday. I'm going to keep buying different brands, which there really aren't that many on the market. Uh, so it's kind of hard to find. There is a really good one that's like a it's a um uh What's it called? Isopropyl, isopropylene, uh, isopropyl alcohol wipe. And it comes in this really small package. They're really portable. That one is the best experience I've had yet. Like opening it, pulling them out are great. My only issue there is that uh, the packaging doesn't seal as well, it seems, because I left them in my car and they dried up. Although that is fairly because it gets to be 100 degrees and I left it in the summer in Arizona in summers. So it also might have been why it was such an issue. But those ones are great. I don't remember the brand off the top of my head, but I'll link them to Amazon in the show notes. Um, those are great. So my next move is, and I've already designed it, is I'm creating a container or a container for these containers. <laughs> that will go mount on my wall and I can slide in the packaging and then it'll just be mounted on the wall. So if I ever need a, a wiper to clean something, I can go over, open it up, pull a couple wipes out and go wipe something down. Or if I need to grab the whole thing, I just pull that right out and go use it. But then it's not taking up drawer space and it's I have one in every room. That's the main thing for me is I want cleaning stuff in every room. So I don't have to, if everything, ever something spills in any room or, you know, a cat pukes on the floor or on a desk in any room, I don't have to go all the way over to the kitchen and then come back with the cleaning supplies. It's just right there where I need it so I can clean it up right away and then go on with my day. And I also try to have a trash can in every room in the house so I can have the same effect. I don't want to have to get up and throw things away or else that's how you get stuff laying around on desks. And tables is because it's just you end up being lazy and leave it there and it doesn't get cleaned up because you don't want to, you don't have an easily accessible way to throw something away. It's all about just working with yourself. That's what I try to do is I know how I am. I'm not going to, I'm going to like wait too long to get up and throw something away. So if it's right there, I'll throw it away immediately. Especially if I know the trash can's there and then you get in a habit and you know exactly like the movement to turn and throw something away. So that's my rant on wipes, wet wipes. Uh, I highly recommend getting them. Aside from that, if you are into astrology and zodiac signs and organization or want to get organized or want to know what your organizational horoscope is, go to my website and subscribe to the newsletter and you will get a free pdf that gives you your organizational horoscope so go ahead give it a look and i also send out some other emails daily blogs or sorry weekly blogs i send out and then i also will start releasing this podcast uh daily on the newsletter or 
as well. I am going to be releasing some stories soon that I'm in the process of writing that are about organizing and they are going to be pretty hilarious. That's the whole, whole like mode I'm thinking of them through. Uh, one is all is going to be about the Zodiac signs in a real world house and kind of the ongoings there and it's going to be good. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, and I will catch you tomorrow.